So we just got back from the lake yesterday. Been away for about a week. Boy, it sure felt good to get away. Recharging batteries. We're on uh, lakefront property, right on the water. So, you know, out of the cottage, down into the water. Out fishing, just kind of lounging on the dock. It's just such a nice week. Really needed that. We have canola out in bloom right now. The uh, up on the escarpment, the crops are not as quite as advanced, so they're just coming into bloom. The clover is in the full bloom right now. Crops are just starting to bloom. Uh, we have fourths on these hives. Anything up around the later part of the apiary is all in fourths. Everything down around Miami, where it's been a little more advanced, they're in fifths. I'm going to take a look to see how full they are. And I'm just trying to. I'm just doing a, an apiary round today, just trying to gather some thoughts and just try to put things together so I know where everything's at again so I can plan the week ahead. And looking into uh, these hives, I count these fourths because the brew chamber count is one and then the second, third and fourth. So I just kind of work down the line here and the yard's pretty consistent so I'm pretty happy at the way things are looking. Uh, my objective is to move the whole apiary together as a single unit so then uh, it's a lot easier just to slap down workload and that's what's going on so what i have here what i'm seeing is um, this top box the bees whoops these bees are nicely up into the top box there's not much stored in the top but they are up here working and cleaning them and storing, you know, starting to deposit nectar. The third box here, I don't have my smoker with me, but oh, there's weight in this top box. Holy shit. Yeah, so they've already started storing a good amount of nectar right in this area here. I'm looking down, they're kind of stove piping up. Just kind of looking down here and they've so these bees are covering all the frames and looks like they're storing honey so there's there's weight in that box that surprised me a little bit here so this box is heavy too so this box is about half full and i'm looking at the second here that is practically full with just starting on cappings there You never really know how much is in these boxes until you lift them up. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stage my work. We're going to start extracting, not this week, but I'm thinking of the yards around Miami. We're going to start maybe a little bit early. We'll start next week, Monday, maybe set some escapes. I got to go down there and take a look to see what it looks like. But um, I'm going to have to start a little bit earlier than later, but just because I'm running short in equipment, I have lots of hives. We made a lot of nukes and every nuke got a box and they're going to probably need a second box by the time we get around to them to pull the honey off them. So we've got to make sure they have enough space so they don't plug up their brood nest. But at any rate, so these guys, about this time of year I count one box filled per week. So I got to estimate when I'm going to get back to this yard to you know strip the honey off before I can give them new space. So if they're going to be filling a box a week, that means I have to make sure <clears throat> they have two to three boxes ahead of them. So this one and this one and another one. So I'm going to be sending the crew around to uh, to all the yards, which I look like to be two and a half, three weeks out, and giving them fifths. So this is basically what I'm doing today. I'm just going through and just taking a peek just to see how close the guys got to uh, assessing this fifth box they put on. See, there's be yeah, these guys are they're filling, they're fattening the frames right across the top of the fourth box. So on to the next week will be this box. Guys are storing nectar up here already. It's these big ones, and they've already started capping across the top of the fourth box here. It's these big hives that are 
always a little bit of a struggle to keep ahead of. So I always try to manage to the stronger hives because they're the ones that make you the most money. You, so you give them the most uh, equipment resource. The smaller ones, you know, they, they just pull back into the average. These guys are just working up into the fourth. And, you know, not as advanced in that third, but they're fattening frames down there. Just working up into that fourth. And that third is the cappings are across the top. This one can almost take another one. But there's not as many up top here, so that's probably right. Nicely working up into that top box. That's nice. Right across. Bees right across. Frames fattening out nice. So they gauge this one perfectly. Not many bees up there. Not many bees there. Just starting to store nectar down in that second box, going up into the third. A little bit smaller, so I'm going to take a box from this hive. Holy shit. There's our cattle out in, uh, we have a lowland paddock. We're having them chew down the native grass. We have to get that before it gets woody. Then we're gonna move them into this fresh paddock. Before that, my bees can enjoy the scattering of clover. And you can see the huge fields of canola out behind. So the whole countryside is turning yellow, as far as I can see. Bees are going in every direction. So I've come across this hive. I've been through 200, 250 hives or whatever today so far. Everything looking pretty good. Everything, all the hives pretty much busy up to the top, which is telling me there's very little swarming going on. Come across this hive, you know, they're bearding. It's a fairly warm day today, so there's hives bearding. But the other telltale sign of swarm is Nothing going on up top. So when the hives are preparing to swarm, they're not hardly doing any work bringing in uh, any of that nectar. They just start lounging around the front to start, you know, filling their guts full of, of uh, honey reserve and just sit around and wait for the hive to swarm off, basically. So there is very little work that's being done up top here and a whole lot of bees in this bottom of this box. So I'm anticipating that this hive is swarming. I'm just going to take a look to see what's going on. Okay, say very little going on in the fourth, nothing in the third here. The second is right full of honey, but you know, where's the bees? The bees aren't here. And I found the problem. I was the one that, yeah, oh Jesus. I was the one that put these excluders on. I put two of them on, for Christ's sake. So the bees can't get up and through. So I'm just gonna take a peek down to see what's going on here. That's a rookie mistake. No 
wonder they're congested. Here, I was going to so show you a hive that's swarming. And they're just packed full because I can find them into the single box by completely capping off over top of the first. I have my smoker with me. So I'm just moving the bees off the bottom bars with my breath. So here's a cell, a bunch of cells here. Well, won't you know. Okay, there's enough cells here that I'm gonna have to go through. Because I know what's going on. It's, I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna find evidence of the queen look for eggs. Uh, if there's eggs, that's great. I'm going to go and kill all these damn swarm cells that have just started. So I've just caught it right at the beginning, so I should be able to stop it by providing the space upwards. I'm looking here, and there's cap brood in that second. So uh, they'll go through the excluder, and they'll carry on forward. So it's no wonder they weren't storing up top. But that's indicative of a swarm, what happens to the swarm. They uh, uh, they get into that swarming spirit, that swarming mood, and they start bearding. They practically quit working, and then as soon as that uh, virgin hatches, you know, off goes that old queen and and the mass of bees. Sometimes they do it before that virgin hatches even. So you got to watch. You don't want to kill all the cells um, when that old queen's already left. But I'm just going to go through this box. I'm going to kill off all those uh, swarm cells that just started put this thing back together with the excluder with only one excluder this time I just want to take a peek down to see what's going on so we have bees working in the top box nicely storing nectar by the feel of it and I'm looking down here and I'm seeing a box nicely worked there's a bit of honey stored in there not not a whole lot Just swimming in jelly. Holy moly. These guys look good. These guys look lush. As you can see in the background, we have full bloom canola. I have these guys plopped down in a half section of canola. Actually, there's canola all around this place. Packed full of eggs. Fresh larvae just swimming in jelly. This queen has come online not too long ago, and she's dominated her little nest here. By having these boxes up top, it's helped relieve the congestion, moves the nectar up. I haven't found her, but I am going to uh, leave them alone. I have some extra brood comb. I'm going to switch out this foundation with some brood comb. So as we check more and more hives, like we're going to find failures. We're finding about 10% failures, and we just shake them out. And we have a bunch of this brood comb that we got to use up. So we like to, uh, so we go around, and we're putting it into, we're replacing all the foundation out of these nukes. And pulling this foundation, especially if it's drawn, pulling it up into uh, some honey boxes.
this other side. Woo, that's right full of brood. Holy. So she got going earlier, much earlier than this other nuke. Full of brood. <clears throat> there she is. There. This nice little blocky laying and right in front of me. Should give a damn if I'm here or not. Beautiful queen. Okay. So I think I know why. here was marked with a tag on top and as I'm thinking this is one of the hives carry dropped in or it's just a little bit further behind this box is Full of nectar by the feel of it. Lots of bees up top and lots of going on, lots going on down here. Getting some weight to that box. It's gonna hold these nukes at two honey supers, but I'm thinking um, I have to reassess that idea, especially if we're gonna be waiting three weeks to harvest from these guys. A hive like this, which is got attention to both boxes. I mean, you count a box a week, even with these guys, they're going to need one more on top. So I don't have to look into this one because I've already found her. She's doing a fantastic job there. But I see brood down there, so let's see here. Brood on this frame. Eggs. Beautiful little start of a brood nest there. go too much deeper here but I see a nice frame of brood look at that that is fantastic back filling just a little bit that queen will push that nectar up through that excluder no eggs in that frame skinny little one. Nice looking queen, but just a little bit skinny. Maybe she'll fatten up a little bit. Look at this nest just packed full of brood. Look at that frame of brood. Boy, that's brilliant. That's going to hatch and that's going to send uh, these older bees into the yeah. field and they are just going to pack this nest full of honey. I'm going to have to be a little prompt on the boxes on these I think. Another frame of brood, look at that. And that last one too. Boy, Carrie's making queens this year. I always talk about how important it is to focus on your queen stock. Every operation, it's a focus on queens, nutrition, and disease control.
Queens is a major factor in the whole equation. If you don't have the Queens, I mean, there's no point in focusing on anything else. Queens are number one. No, there is no number one. It's the three pillars. It's Queens, nutrition, and disease control. You control those, you have a handle on those three factors, and the sky's the limits. As you can see here, like there is one, two, three, four, maybe five frames of brood in this little six frame here. That's all going to emerge. Give me a honey crop. She's going to lay out those again. This is just absolutely brilliant. I'll be making money on these nukes this year. Lots of honey coming in. And this is the uh, one of the strategies be behind this whole nuke project making our own queens. It's eliminated the cost of buying in queens completely and I've geared things around so these queens are reared this year to be used next year. Like They'll turn into honey producers next year. But at the same time, these little units are going to make me like this. This pallet here is going to make me for sure six boxes of honey on the first pull and maybe another box on the second pull. Okay, so that's eight boxes of honey. Let's say there's 40 pounds net come in. So I'm looking at over 300 pounds of honey off these three. That's 100 pounds of honey off each nuke that's gonna be coming off. And uh, so I'm making these queens, I'm eliminating the queen expense on my ledger, and I'm adding, you know, 100, $150 per nuke. Let's say it averages down to $100 over all, all my nukes, because there's some of them are late. So I'm averaging, they're, they're making me $100. So I'm taking the cost off my ledger and I'm putting it into the revenue column by $100. So this is the fifth yard I've come to that they are absolutely packed. So these hives are changing by the day. All these fifths were put on last week and the fourths were left not as strong, obviously strong now. And I'm going through, just kind of topping these guys up just to provide some space until we get to them in about a week. So this has pretty much confirmed my decision to start setting boards on Monday, next Monday that is. These hives are just packed full, like they're up in the fifths. And I'm just adding fifths to the ones that are plugging out. So I have another three yards to do like this, just to top up. And uh, this is really good. The flow is extremely heavy around Miami right now. I'm just doing the best I can to catch it with the equipment I have on hand. And I just, this could be exciting. I just hope we get a bit of rain and some heat to keep this flow moving forward and just see how far we can get this going. <laughs> 